Well, lawmakers in Missouri will return to the Capitol Monday for a special session on violent crime. Yeah, the governor called the special session after the state is on track to set record homicide numbers this year. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter, Emily Manley, has a preview of the special session with lawmakers. The House and the Senate will gavel in at noon Monday for what could be nearly a month long special session addressing violent crime. I spoke to lawmakers on both sides of the aisle who agree the special session is necessary, but what they don't agree on are the topics planned to be discussed. I think this is a critical issue at this point in time uh, for one very simple reason. We have a record number of homicides that are going on in the state of Missouri right now. These things that he's asking for only increase. The, uh, the population within our, our jail system. For the first time since May, lawmakers will be headed back into the Capitol Monday. Republican Senator Tony Luptemeyer from Kansas City says it's time to address the rapid increase of homicides in the state. Violent criminals have become emboldened because they don't think there are actual consequences uh, for their actions. Luke DeMeyer says the six provisions the governor wants to discuss during the session will stop the catch and release of criminals in the state. Dangerous felons are arrested and actually put in prison because they can be prosecuted the first time. They don't have to be rearrested by law enforcement. Across the aisle, Democratic Representative Crystal Quaid from Springfield says these provisions will only fill prisons. Everything that he's addressing is after the crime has already been committed, and those are, you know, changes as he's wanting to see then. Governor Parson said Thursday during his tour discussing violent crime, it helps everyone in the system. We want to be able to give the prosecutors the ability to take somebody off the street, which helps the law enforcement officers so they don't have to deal with them. Plus, it helps the citizen out there that lives in that community. Some lawmakers asked the governor to address violent crime last summer, but he never answered their request. And so we had asked Governor Parson a year ago to do this. And at that point in time, he said that he needed to stay in his lane, and this was really not special session worthy. Representative Quaid said she'd much rather see lawmakers discuss the state's response to COVID-19. She said now seven House staffers have tested positive for the virus. Testing will be available early next week for those working here in the State House. Reporting for our Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.